Solomon of Solomonic Demons, and yes, I'm playing with that time bomb. Or, well, at least that's a couple of the haters of the channel think. A couple of comments had been going on the videos that I made about the Bugera PS1, my crate Voodoo 60. For me, all these comments are kind of funny, but unfortunately for those that actually view the channel because are interested in the equipment that I use, like I said, like the Bugera PS1 or my crate amplifiers, and I think that these comments might be misleading comments for viewers that are researching uh, these products that I use uh, to make music. Now, like I said, I made a full video about great amplifiers, about what happened with great amplifiers, why these are amplifiers are out of production and we cannot get them new anymore, right? But if we are honest, great always made affordable amplifiers made here in the USA, but tube amplifiers and solid state amplifiers, PV and Crate were the most affordable brands that you were able to find that were made here in the USA until the early 2000s, right? After that, all the other brands like Bugera start popping up. And I think that in the case of tube amplifiers these days, Bugera might be the most famous affordable brand that make amplifiers in China. Uh, but these two brands, Bugera and Crate, have something in common. Besides all of the amplifiers to being affordable, they have a very bad reputation uh, that these are bad quality amplifiers, that these things tend to get on fire and destroy the rest of your equipment. Or well, at least that's what a lot of guitar players comment on forums and blogspots on even YouTube. In videos, like I said, like this one, you know, there's always somebody commenting that these amplifiers, uh, these products that these companies made or used to make are not worth it at all. Now, I bought the Crate Budo 60 four months ago. Uh, I bought it used, obviously, and it cost me $300. You know, I went to a sandwich store to pick up a guitar. And when I went to pick up the guitar to my local sandwich store, I saw the Crate over there and I was like, let me get it, right? Now, my other crate amplifier that is my crate Turbo Valve, I bought three years ago. I have used that amplifier a lot. In fact, that amplifier came out on the new album of Solomon e. Timons, Enchanted. I played that amplifier in one song and it was very cool. And for me, that was the amplifier that I had to use for that song because that was the song that I was looking for. And like I said, I got that amplifier also used three years ago on Guitar Center in Florida for $160. And it became one of my favorite amplifiers. I really like the way that they create Turbo Valve songs. Now the Crate Voodoo, according to the serial number of my amplifier, was made almost 25 years ago. This amplifier was made on the 90s. And this one also have almost 20 years. So I'm not trying to say that these amplifiers will last forever but at least they have proved that they will last considerable time. Also, these amplifiers, in the case of the Crate Voodoo 60, it seems that previous owners had played this thing a lot, uh, especially live, because the amplifier, it is really beaten. So yeah, it seems that somebody had played this thing a lot live. And, but at the same time, it seems that this person internally had kept the maintenance on the amplifier, because like I said, the amplifier, when I try it, when I open it up to clean it up, it seems that the tubes were changed at some point, and that the amplifier had been had a properly maintenance in these 25 years of lifespan that the amplifier had. And like I said, it's still working. Everything that I play in the intro that you guys hear was played through that amplifier. And the amplifier was connected to my Bugera PS1. Now my Bugera PS1 has been my load box for over five years. This thing have appeared, or at least you guys have heard this thing in almost all the videos of this channel. And I have used the Bugera PS1 in the last three albums of Solomonic Demons. And I never had encountered a problem with the Bugera PS1. It is the best $90 that I ever had spent because before that I wasn't able to record my tube amplifiers and before I bought Bugera PS1 I used to use plugins or modelers, right? That's what I used to use. When the haters of this channel, like I said, comment about these things, the comments are always are the same. Why you don't save more money and get um, 
Universal Audio OX or a WhatsApp Tube Expander or whatever other kind of attenuator and load box to record your amplifiers. And honestly, for me, I understand that equipment uh, might have more features. I mean, it has to do something better because uh, the Bugera PS1 is only $100 and the Ox Universal Audio, for example, is $1,500. So I understand that that reactive load box gonna maybe give me a better quality of sound, but I don't have any kind of problem with my Bugera PS1. I Like I said, every amplifier that I use that is a tube amp always go through this thing and I never had any issue. Now when I made a review of the Bugera PS1, I clearly said that the Bugera PS1 respond better to 50 watts of lower wattage amplifiers because when you use a 100 watt amp on it or something above 100 watts amp, the Bugera PS1 tend to compress the sound of the amplifier when it attenuates the amp and when you record the amplifier straight to your interface through the line out of the Bugera PS1. So you get the sound of the amplifier really colored, something that it doesn't happen when you use a 50 watts or lower amplifier. And also that's one of the reasons why I keep getting Launchbox amplifiers or 20 watts or below amplifiers, or if I get a big amplifier like my PB Butcher, for example, it has to be an amplifier that you can cut at that wattage to a 50 watts. So, and that's, so like I said, yeah, when I read those comments, I'm like, there is no necessity for me to upgrade. And the way that I work uh, when it's about my musical year is if I like something, I save to get it, you know, but I don't get it because someone tell me to buy it. So unless it fails at some point, and if I'm honest with you guys, if this thing fails at some point, I think that after five years, after daily use, I won't get mad at all. I won't trash Bugera because they did a really great product with the Bugera PS1. At some point, I'm planning to review a Bugera amplifier on the channel, and I know for a fact that Bugera have improved a lot of the quality of their amplifiers, especially after the introduction of the Infinium series as a standard for all their amplifiers. But the most important reason about this video, like I said, is to let know the people that have been watching these videos and researching uh, about the Bulgaria products and uh, about the crate amps that I have talked in the past. I mean, it is up to you if you want to get them, you know, and nobody gonna guarantee you if a crate amp that you buy gonna last you for too long because the only way to get them it is in the used market. But if you want the amplifier because you like how the amplifier sounds, because you like the price of the amplifier and because you want to give it a try, so why not? Okay, so if I'm playing with a time bomb, I will die happily in the final countdown, you know? I don't mind at all if at any point these amplifiers stop working. In the case of the crates, like I said, I had a lot of joy playing these amplifiers, especially the crate Turbo Val, because I have it for a long time, and now I start getting love to the Budo 60, you know, I always wanted to have a Budo 60 and now that I finally have it, every time that I play it, I have a lot of joy playing these amplifiers. Now, in the case of the Bugera PS1, the Bugera PS1 changed the way that I make music and it's been a daily driver for almost five years or more than five years. If I have to change it and get another one, I will do it and I will do it happily. If these things fell at any point of this time, for me, I will try to fix them. If I cannot fix them, I understand. And remember, to make music, you don't need the most expensive year in the world. You don't have to wait and get the most expensive guitar, amp, or recording equipment to record the songs that you want to make. So if somebody tell you, change this or wait until you can afford this to make music, well, believe me, you are listening to the wrong person. So yeah, this was Solomon of Solomonic Demons. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care and bye.